Okay, so keys. Uh, keys is a useful function that returns us uh, names uh, of our properties, right? So from the object. So it literally uh, returns array of object keys. And I'm going to explain and show you how it works. So let's say I have the messages, right? So you see I have uh, messages, which is uh, a collection, and it has some properties in it, right? So and these properties named like this, so this is uh, not super common, but this is one of the options that you may face. So we will uh, retrieve the keys of messages collection, and then we will go into this to show you. So this, like uh, retrieving these, maybe won't be super useful for you unless you may do a table or so. But this is uh, commonly used to, let's say, iterate. Uh, collection which is not possible by default because we usually trade arrays right so let's do this so messages and um, we just apply keys to messages uh, object because keys works with the object or collection so I'm going to put my messages here and let's see what we're going to get that will be array of my keys means array of uh, properties that contains a collection of messages. So if I'm going to, let's say, copy this name, right? And we'll try to uh, reference, or we can, yeah, we can do direct reference. So messages and, for example, this collection. So what we're going to get will be a list uh, or array of these properties, right? So literally body author uh, is internal deed uh, and so on, so on. So testing this one and that's what we've got, right? So we got exactly list of these properties. Uh, how you may use this approach will be maybe like a table or so as I, as I mentioned. So you may combine it with the, let's say, join because that's really array. And if you will separate it with a comma, you will get the list of comma separated items that already can be used as let's say a header or like a first line of your csv right or your table that's um, how it works and that returns us these uh, names of the collection while um, for uh, as we may call them like named uh, array a uh, name collections which literally it should be array right so it logically uh, to either create array of collections or collect uh, array of messages here right but uh, sometimes the api returns this and you need to literally iterate all messages to work with them somehow so then we can combine and use the the method where we can uh, iterate the keys of these guys and then we you will have array of keys so you can uh, reference the messages so this will be working this way so I need to have my iterator right and I will do a iteration of my keys that will return us right so we already passed it right so then iterator will iterate one by one the names only names of my messages right and I can use get to get them one by one using a values iterated from iterator. So I will uh, do it at once here. So get, uh, and then I will use my value from the iterator. Let's see, I don't have it yet because I haven't run it. So I will run this once just to have the value from my iterator and now I will be able to reference the value that comes from here. So again, I will uh, go into get the one by one things from that value, right? So again, we go into get one by one uh, things from messages collection using this name, then this, 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 and that's how we may iterate the collection, which is not an array. So as you see. The first output will be first collection, then second, then third, and so on and so forth. So we're referencing, uh, like we're going to get from the collection messages one by one, 
this value, this, 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 that we will be returned as a keys and iterated in our array, and we're going to use it as a value. 